Justice equals righteousness. Welcome, friends. This is Brian Hudson. I want to introduce to you my new book entitled Biblical and Social Justice, What Is It? An Everyday Person's Guide to Understanding Justice and the Role of the Church in Our Society. I want to invite you to get your copy of the book in print or Kindle format, also in Apple iBook format. We also have a digital voice format as well all available at the website at biblicaljusticebook.com. We're living at a crossroads spiritually, socially, politically, and interrelationally. We are all aware of injustice in our nation. The murder of George Floyd by a police officer brought injustice to our nation in a light that is both tragic and shocking. We also know that most injustice occurs in less obvious systemic ways. In my book, I discuss justice at three levels. First, there is biblical justice, which is essentially God's righteousness and order within us as his people. In the Bible, the Hebrew and Greek words justice and righteousness are closely related. And in many cases, the two words are identical. Righteousness begins with God. Therefore, justice begins with him also. Biblical justice is not the demands placed on others who are not Christ followers. It is what we live through the grace of God. Second, there's social justice, which in my understanding is the outworking of justice and righteousness to the world around us. The prophet Isaiah said by the inspiration of the Lord, learn to do right, seek justice, defend the oppressed, take up the cause of the fatherless, plead the cause of the widow. That would be social justice. When we learn to do what's right, which is biblical justice and righteousness within God, then we're able to seek justice for others, defend the oppressed, and take up the cause of those in need. Third, there is civil justice, which addresses public policy, jurisprudence, and equal treatment of people under the law. In the areas of biblical and social justice, the book addresses core issues to many of the problems we face today and offer solutions through practical wisdom, working together, and operating and learning how to live through the Word of God. Among the issues that we face are miseducation, false narratives about our history as a nation and African American people. Uh, We all know the necessity of properly understanding a problem before we can fix it. Issues such as miseducation, white supremacy, and the treatment of racial minorities has roots in bad theology, poor public policy, and a lack of love. Biblical and Social Justice, What Is It? is a book of education, inspiration, and hope. It contains over 100 footnotes of references to reliable sources. Biblical and Social Justice, What Is It? includes chapters such as What is Justice? Social Justice and Preparedness to Act, The Reign of Narratives, A Nation Founded on Christian Principles, That's a question. Dr. Martin Luther King's concept of justice, which is my exposition on the letter from the Birmingham jail. Blessings of education and the perils of miseducation. In the words of John Wesley, this is from a 1774 publication that John Wesley released in which he talked about the conditions of people in Africa and how they lived, which is far from savage, as we have been taught. There's also a chapter that deals with success stories in which we look at five organizations who have practiced principles of social justice and righteousness uh, in their communities. And the book closes with frequent statements and questions. And also there's a nine page glossary of civil justice terms. I invite you to learn more about this important book and purchase your copy and perhaps a copy for others. I believe a book like this would be a great gift to others and to your children. For those who like to purchase multiple copies of the book, there is a significant discount for doing so. Information is at the website. You can learn more about the book at www.biblicaljusticebook.com. And again, thank you for your interest. Remember, justice equals righteousness. And we're called to make a positive impact in both the community of believers in Christ as well as the larger society in which we live and serve. So thank you for your interest, and please check out the book. God bless.